guys so my hair is looking all messed up let me just let me just do the finger wave on it for a second okay there we go all right so what's up guys so in this special sneaker video i got all of my favorite sneakers that i purchased this year and um it is one two three Okay, so my, my my eight favorite sneakers that I bought in 2018, and um, yeah, it's like I've bought so many sneakers this year, but uh, I think these are the ones that stood out the most. Like the ones that I overall like, the ones that I found that that was like, you know, not too many people are wearing them. Just like the sneakers, I'm like, okay, I could definitely, you know, wear these numerous occasions. Like I feel like that out of all of these sneakers... Like that will be showing in these videos. In, in in this video, these are the ones I think I've worn the most than any other sneaker. Like there are some that I did wear like a few times, but I'll have to say that these these are by far my favorite sneakers this year. So, anyways, starting off with Kevin Durant's Nike Zoom KD Elevens. All right, can see right there on the little tag. Size 10 and the color wave, like a rainbow color wave and stuff. So yeah, these were, I like these sneakers because they're really comfortable. They are probably the most comfortable basketball sneakers that I've ever worn and stuff. So yeah, these, these shoes, these, these are like a must buy. Like it comes in different color waves. I know I've seen people wearing like a gray color wave. Um, what else? Uh, cause I think they got like a, like a light blue. No. I don't know, but yeah, I so far have seen like kind of like a grayish black and white color wave, and then of course these ones, and I picked these ones up because I'll always wear like a rainbow color wave shoe and stuff, so yeah, the KDs, KDs are really nice, I really do like his shoes, I think he definitely, he, he knew what he was doing with these shoes, but I think probably by far the most comfortable shoes I bought this year was the Nike EXP X14s SE. See right there on the tag. These shoes are the most comfortable shoes I think I've bought this year. And yeah, these shoes right here, these are probably by far the most nice shoes. I because it was I bought them and I didn't even really realize how comfortable they were until somebody had brought it up. Like I think it was at the Nike store too, but they were talking about like how comfortable these shoes are. And I was all like, you know what? Like, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll wear these. I'll wear these and stuff. And yeah, I was just all like, wow, these shoes are really comfortable and things. So I was like, these shoes, I wore them. I think there was a time where I was just, just wearing these shoes. Like, I didn't care what I was wearing up above. I'm like, these shoes is nice and things. So I got like a jacket that goes with these shoes. I think I got a couple of things that go with these shoes, but. Really, I I don't I don't care. Like these shoes are like the go to comfort shoes and stuff. I'm honestly because I'm planning on going on a trip, uh, soon, and so yeah, I'm I'm thinking about probably bringing these shoes with me because these shoes are just they're too comfortable. Like leaving them behind and then plus like a really nice look to them and things. They kind of like because when I had got these, I they kind of look like the um the uh what are those shoes the the um element like nike reacts like those see-through ones and so that's what they kind of reminded me of when i bought these shoes but yeah these shoes man y'all don't have these nike um exp 14s y'all are missing out and the uh, next shoe not the particular color wave that i wanted but these uh jordans are the jordans that i've always wanted and, uh, yeah, ever since I've seen, like, the uh, infrared sixes and stuff, they, to me, like, are some of the most, like, just greatest-looking shoes. I think probably that um, those 2014, uh, ele or element, the 2014 Nike, Ni Nike Jordan 6, I, it's like, I don't know, these, these shoes, I'm gonna just get straight into it. We're gonna just be showing off the Jordan 6, um these shoes yeah these are like the tinker hayfield edition and uh yeah these are like my dream shoes i ain't dirty these shoes up i need to go get me some shoe cleaning things but uh yeah it was like when i seen that these shoes was uh was um in store and things i was just like ooh, like dang you know i might not ever see those uh, other infrared sixes but i do want these infrared sixes and stuff so i'm gonna take what i can get and uh yeah these shoes even though, yeah, they're basketball sneakers, they're pretty comfortable shoes and things, and so uh, not too heavy, 
And you know, but I mean, it does add like some weight to them. But yeah, I um I like these shoes. I really do like them. I wore these uh, quite a few times actually, to the point yeah where I've dirtied them up. Like you could kind of see like scuff marks and things, a little bit yeah up on that toe part of the shoe. But that's what you just that's what you're supposed to do with shoes. You're supposed to dirty them up and things. You're supposed to live a little, all right. So um yeah, and then it's like just spend the day cleaning them. I think that's what I'm honestly have to do one day. One of these days is just yeah, I probably just clean all of my shoes and stuff but um i think for the most part most of my shoes they're pretty they're pretty clean this box is weird though but anyways yeah those sixes those are to i can't wait for those black ones because i think they said those black ones are coming out sometime next year i'm definitely buying those <laughs> so uh you best believe i might i might have to figure out the day because i'm like i might have to schedule that day off so i make sure i am at the store buying them shoes but anyways these shoes, I've worn these shoes quite a few. I wore these shoes yesterday. And, uh, yeah, these shoes, I've worn these shoes all year. The Air Vapor Max 97s. Um, a collaboration between the, like, Air Max 97s and then the Vapor Max, like, bottom part. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know what Vapor Maxes look like. But, uh, yeah, here's the tag. Wait a minute, I don't think I showed the tag. The tag is so small on the, uh, six, the infrared sixes, but... Yeah, here's a tag on the Vapor Maxes and stuff. And uh, yeah, opening this bad boy up. I've worn these shoes so much. These are to me are just all like some just straight up slip ons to where I'm just wearing them outside and stuff. I feel like when shoes are official slip ons, you just put them in the garage. But I'm like, nah, these are like my go to shoes. Like if I really don't feel like doing a whole lot with like sneakers and stuff, I just put these bad boys on and uh, yeah. I'm just straight up just wearing these everywhere and things. Good running shoe. Um, not so good in the rain. One of the thought probably been good in the rain, but nah, these shoes, these are just like your casual um walking shoes and stuff. So uh don't do anything too fancy. I mean, yeah, you can run in them if you want. I think overall that's what Vapor Max shoes are, is to just run and just um do so much in them and things. And uh, cause yeah, this like plastic at the bottom. I think it's never it the time it wears out, probably they're gonna be so many vapor maxes out and things. These are just going to just you know, just be whatever and stuff. But anyways, yeah. I worn these shoes so many times. I probably put so many miles like on just wearing this shoe. And um yeah, the plastic is kind of like squishy a little bit. So I think that's just me just putting so much weight on them and stuff. But yeah. My favorite, honestly, I have to say that these are probably my favorite shoes I purchased this year. And um, didn't have to pay full price for them. I actually got um, $50 off because I had a gift card from the Nike store. So shout out, even though I'm wearing an Adidas hoodie, I apologize, Nike. But shout out to Nike. Shout out to Nike. And I apologize. I should be apologizing to Adidas for shouting out Nike wearing their clothes and stuff. But anyways, yeah, these those are probably my favorite shoes. So um Yo, that'd be so crazy if Nike was just all like, hey, we got a color wave coming out. We want to send them out to you. I'm like, listen, Nike, y'all doing nice stuff like that. That might mess around. Just have me just buy every shoe in the store. So play with my emotions like that. Best believe that's going to happen. But anyways, next shoes. I'll have to say these are probably my favorite color wave of the Jordans. The uh, Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. And uh, yeah, these are like the South Beach color wave. And these shoes, man... I seen them on the shelf, and uh, even my manager. There's a, a lot of people notice the color of these shoes. These shoes, I am telling you, I love the color wave to the shoes. Never been to Florida, yeah. Never been to South Beach. Never been to Florida. Nowhere near there. Okay, I mean, yeah, I've been in the down south region, but um, nah, not Florida. And these shoes, I might just wear these shoes tomorrow because the color wave on these shoes, retro at that. So that's what I really do like is like that retro material and then this color wave. These shoes are amazing. Like I really do like these shoes and stuff. So um, yeah, it's like these. If you, I don't care if you've never been to Florida, you best have these color wave of these Jordans because these Jordans is nice, clean and everything. And I've worn these a few times. I've worn them a few times. So it's like not dirty or nothing, but... You know, I should try to keep it that way. I shouldn't wear these shoes tomorrow. I've been wearing another pair of Jordans that I will show in this video. But um, anyways, yeah, those are some nice shoes. I really do like them. If you don't have that color wave, did I even show? 
Okay, I showed the. Okay, I no, I showed it. I showed it. So, anyways, moving on to the next shoe. Oh, I should save the one Jordans for last. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to remember to do that. But, anyways, Vans. Now I've talked some crap about Vans this um this year because I bought some of the like old like high top like classic ones. Them shoes are so uncomfortable. The moment I knew that them shoes was uncomfortable is when I was stepping off of a curb. I stepped off of a curb and then it's like kind of stepped on this part of the ground that was sticking up. I can seriously feel that part of the ground going through my foot. Them are the most uncomfortable shoes ever. Like I thought that the Airmore up tempos were some uncomfortable shoes. Them vans, it's like a toss up between them shoes. Like the air more up tempos, like those are nice, those are okay, but messed my ankles up. Couldn't even walk in them. And then I remember it was like when around the time when I bought them shoes, I busted my knee on a coffee table. So it's like both my ankles hurting, and then I got a messed up knee. I could not walk. I could not walk down on um, those days. So these vans, though, I would have to say that these are probably the best pair of vans I've ever owned in my life. Best pair of vans I've ever seen before. But the Vans Varix WC, showing that to you and stuff. But um, yeah, these vans are probably the best uh, vans that I've ever seen. Comfortable like that. Yeah, they got like an ultra cush light as the sole. So yeah, it's like pressing down on them and things. It is pretty comfortable. It, honestly, like the sole of it kind of feels like a Jordan a little bit. So the sole ain't that big of a deal. But um, yeah, these shoes at a good price. Because I don't even think that these these shoes is like 110. 110. That's how much that these shoes cost. And um, yeah, there was like I think 99. Or no, wait a second. Was these shoes 110 or was they 90? I think they were, well, overall, I don't care. These shoes was cheap. Didn't have to spend that much on them. And they honestly look like some, like, high-end designer shoes. Like, they look like some Balenci. They kind of reminded me of the Balenciagas, those triple S ones. And so that's why I kind of bought these ones. They just look like some, like, casual sitting on the couch looking at some newspaper. Like, I honestly, I'm gonna probably be an old man wearing these shoes. I feel like that these are some overall, like, dad shoes. Not even that, like, some straight-up granddad shoes. But, you know, just them shoes where you just got a cigar, in, or not a cigar, but a, a pipe thing in the mouth, and you just looking at the newspaper with your glasses down like that, just, you know, chilling. Like, I feel like that these would be the shoes, okay? These would be the shoes to wear when you're doing some stuff like that. But, um, speaking of glasses, who's seen that Ray J clip? Of him like taking the glasses down and then they went down but it was like flip for those that don't know look up ray j you might see he was on the breakfast club and that was by far the most like weirdest thing ray j that beats his uh his hat performance this year for those that know who i'm talking about and stuff but yeah ray j he is on a different level right now i don't know what to really think of ray j but anyways Bro, why is this box not closing? All the other boxes closed, but then this particular box don't want to close. Y'all just gonna have to hear the struggle noise, cuz. This box is gonna close. It's like, okay, there we go. I'm like, I ain't gonna continue on with this video until this box closes. But anyways, y'all yeah, gonna save these Jordans for last. But, um, oh, these shoes... Now, I am telling you, these are probably the most rarest shoes that I've ever found in my life. Took the shoelaces out, because I'm like, you know, these shoes, you just zip them right up. And yeah, it's like, even the video that I did on them, they got a lot of views too. The uh, Nike Hirachi Grips. These shoes, is to me, so me and my manager, for since the time I bought these shoes... We cannot find the, um, this particular color wave on stock X. And then uh, it's like, yeah, the, these shoes are just some like really rare shoes, I feel like. Because it's like, okay, if they're not on stock X, and I found every other shoe that I've purchased on stock X, I cannot find these shoes on stock X. You can look these up. I can't even think of the color wave name right now. But yeah, you can look up like Nike Hirachi Grip. And you, if you can find it, then I'm like, oh, then we're just not looking hard enough. But yeah, I even like found the particular name and searched it up. And it's like, I, can, I can't find it. I cannot find it. So yeah, these shoes to me, they're like just some really rare shoes. 
But um, yeah, I really do like these shoes. They're really comfortable. Wouldn't recommend. I made a video saying like, oh, these are like you know, a uh, good in the rain. They're not good in the rain. Like that's you know, maybe some light rain, but some heavy rain. Yeah, I was wearing these out in some like heavy rain day, and um, yeah, they're they're not good. They're <laughs> they're not good in the rain. But um, yeah, overall, no, these shoes are pretty comfortable. They're pretty nice. Uh, you can wear them with shoelaces. I figure since it's like I'm only um going to work. It's like these shoes, they don't even, I don't really need to um, have the shoelaces on because uh, it's just like, you know, they zip them up. And uh, it's like, yeah, it feels a little bit loose. And um, overall, I feel, I like when a shoe is like tight on my foot. I don't like when it's loose. But either way, I'm like this with this, with this particular shoe, I don't have to worry about it like sliding off or slipping off and things like overall. Like, and I don't even think I can pull this shoe off with it while it being zipped up. So let me just. I guess I, I can, well, yeah, I just proved myself wrong. So I can, but it's struggling a little bit. So it's like, I will honestly have to like fall and then just straight up just twist my whole ankle. And uh, yeah, I feel like that, that that might possibly take the shoe out and things. But yeah, these, these shoes is just some like really just nice shoes. I've seen these shoes. Now I'm like, I've never seen a pair of like some like high top Hirachis and stuff. I've always seen like some like low top Hirachis. And I've seen these. I'm like, no, I have to get these. I have to get these. So yeah, make sure you get, they have other color waves. But if you can find this particular color wave, you might just be one of the rare ones like me and stuff. But anyways, yeah, Nike, you did an outstanding job with this shoe. I really do like it. But um, I don't know. Should I wear it with shoelaces? Should I not wear it with shoelaces? To me, overall, I like it. I'm kind of like on some like Will Smith stuff. Because even with they said with that Jordan that they released, what was it, the 8 or something? Or No, no. Well, no. It could, no. When did the 11s? No, it was the 8s. No, it was the 8s. Okay, yeah, it was because I started thinking and I was just like, it just threw me off. But anyway, speaking of Jordans. The my I feel like that these will honestly have to be the my favorite shoes that I bought this year. Like that, well, I did say that the Vapor Maxes were my favorite shoes, but my favorite Jordan that I bought this year. And yes, the um, the did I even show? I I don't even care um if I didn't show the name or not. But anyways, the Air Jordan Eleven Retro. I'm telling you guys that these shoes, I've been wearing these shoes. Now, these shoes, good in the rain. Okay, good on the court, good everywhere. The box, it's like, the, even the box, I've never owned a pair of shoes where the box came out like that. Okay, so it's like, that's that's to me pretty crazy. But yeah, these shoes, okay, I'll have to say that I really do like these shoes. Been wearing them a lot. Um, they're still kind of clean, too. I mean, like a little smudge on the side, but, you know, a little paper towel can get that. But, yeah, these shoes is good in the rain. Like, I've worn these shoes out in the rain. My foot honestly slid once. Oh, it's, like, kind of scraped on the side a little bit. But that's usually how it is with these shoes, so I'm not even, like, tripping off of it and things. But, um, yeah, these shoes, I'm telling you. These are these these are nice. Like I really do like these shoes. No joke. These are my favorite Jordans I purchased this year. Like I do like them South Beach Jordans and stuff, but I have to say that these are my all-time favorite Jordans that I bought this year. So definitely if you are not picking up a pair and I they've um released like numerous versions of this shoe. So you could probably go to one of them like stores like Stadium Goods or that uh one of them like popular sneaker stores. Or even online, StockX maybe, and um, probably purchase one of the older versions. But I, this is like the 2018, like this is the brand new version. You can just look at it and stuff. Because I think even that 4.5 is um, brand new. Bottom sole is uh, brand new and stuff. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's this This is the 2018 one. And it's I like it. I like it a lot and stuff. I would have rather wanted the older ones. But um, I'm like, this will do. This will do. I can I can accept this. I like this. So anyways, um they released like a couple actually no, I think this is it was this one and then it was them platinum ones that they released this year. But I didn't like the platinum ones. I'm like, no, nah, I want the Concords and stuff. So anyways, yeah. 
these shoes, I've, I've worn these shoes quite a few. I've been wearing these shoes since I bought them. So it's like trying to pull myself away from them and then wearing other shoes. I really don't like that. But I, I like these shoes. They're really comfortable. I like them a lot. Like seriously, if you don't have a pair of Concords, get you a pair, okay? They still might be in stores. They still might be in uh, your size and things. I just had to tell somebody at Starbucks that, uh, yeah, it was a woman that works there and because she, she said she wanted to get some for her daughter. And I'm like, or no, she wanted to get some for herself. Maybe, I don't know. She said she wanted to get some for someone, but it was like size seven kids. I'm like, hey, they might have some in Federal Way. But um, I know I got the last pair in my size. Um, Yeah, because I was size 10. And then the guy was just like, yep, last pair and all that. I'm like, you didn't have to tell me that. But anyways, um, yeah, I really do like these shoes. So anyways, those are my favorite shoes of 2018. Some shoes I really do like. Some shoes I will wear on numerous occasions. I'm most like, I should wear the KDs tomorrow because the KDs, those are pretty comfortable. But then it might rain. Like, I don't know which, like, out of these shoes, like, dang. If I was going on some, like, really long business trip and they told me to pick, like, pick out these, um, pick out some shoes the way I probably would pick out some of these shoes. But it will be a hard, hard decision. Like, I want some shoes with comfort, but some shoes that's also going to be good out in, like, some rainy area. But if I ain't going to a rainy area, then I got a trip. I'll probably pick out, like, I'll probably pick out all the Jordans, three Jordans, yeah, the six, the ones, and then the 11s and stuff, and just be like, yep, I'm going to be Jordan now. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I guess stay tuned next year for uh, the same video and stuff, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace.